Hello, everyone out there. Once again, this is Frank with the Whiskey Anonymous podcast. We have absolutely not Matthew Stewart. No, Ferguson Stewart. All right, whatever. Anyways, Matthew Stewart here. And um, we're going to talk about a, a tip um, mm. today. We're talking about, uh, we'll talk about barrel, I guess, chips, barrels, I guess, like X barrels, pieces of wood chips that they're being sold today yeah. as to age whiskey. Right. Can uh, you tell us a little bit more about it and, and your thoughts? Yeah, so, so, I mean, there's a few. There's chips and then there's pieces of oak that have been cut with lots and lots of grooves. Yes. Right? The idea is you've got a massive amount of surface area in the whiskey for a short period of time, which in the cast you get a smaller amount of surface area for the volume, but yeah. a much longer period of time. So can we accelerate that by putting this, these chips or this serrated yeah. piece of wood into the... Some into type the of whiskey. X whiskey or whatever, X bourbon or whatever, some yeah. type of barrel. Yeah. So, science... Science. Geeky time. Three, times, three types of things happen in a cask. There's what we call additive, subtractive, and interactive. Yeah. So additive is stuff that leaches out of the wood into the whiskey. Yes. And a good example would be those vanilla notes you get out of a bourbon cask. Those beautiful vanilla notes. Yeah. Absolutely. Or the spice and dried fruit notes you get out of a sherry cask. Right. Subtractive. Casks will take out harsh notes. They'll take out sulfury mm. notes, stuff like that. Stuff we don't want in the whiskey. They'll slowly be taken away right. in time. Important to that is the char, because we char the inside of a bourbon cask, yes. because char actually really helps to take out those salt. Yeah, the core, yeah. Yeah. The third type is interactive. Okay. Right? So that's not just stuff going in and out. That's The cask breathes, right? Yeah. Day to day. Every day the cask will take a breath. Right? So what you've got is you get your angel share, you get evaporation, yes. you lose a bit of spirit, and every day you get a little bit of air back in the cask. Yeah. So you're getting... Not large amounts, but small amounts of oxygen. And as all these other reactions, you know, things are going into the cask, there's a little bit of oxygen becomes available. Certain other reactions take place. Uh, alcohols and acids react to form esters, esterification in the cask, and a lot of other things as well. Right. So by increasing our contact between spirit and wood, we can accelerate some of these things. We cannot accelerate all of them. Yeah. So we can accelerate our additive. Yes. We can get stuff pouring out of that wood into the whiskey. We can also get the wood sucking some stuff out. But you know what? Most of the salt is gone. Right? Yeah. Uh, and we don't actually have a char on those pieces of wood anyway. Usually not. So, so we're not taking out some of the stuff we actually want to take out. Yeah. And one thing we can never accelerate, and, and there have been a lot of experiments, a lot of people have tried a lot of different things to speed up the aging of whiskey, but no one has been able to accelerate that slow oxidative effect mm. that comes from a cask taking a breath every day. Yeah. I don't care what you're putting in your glass of whiskey, you will never replicate that. Right. Maybe science will do it one day, but now, yeah, if you want a lot of vanilla and wood to get into your whiskey, if that's what you want to do, sure, have a crack. If you actually want aged whiskey, buy aged whiskey. Buy aged whiskey. So, yeah, out, it's pretty much out there in your tip. It's not going to do what you think it does. You may add slight vanilla notes if it's X barrel or yeah. slight fruity notes if it's X sherry, but you're not going to get that aged whiskey, which you, that's what you're hoping for, I'm assuming. It will intensify flavor, but it won't add that subtlety and sophistication that you can only get with aged whiskey. Excellent. What about temperature? Temperature will speed some things up, but some of the things just cannot be yeah. accelerated. Uh, if you heat it up, different reactions start to take place, and you don't necessarily want those reactions. So you will see whiskeys from Australia or from Taiwan, uh, which even India, which, of course, because it's warmer... They may age faster in a sense because it's hotter versus Scotland or like Kentucky in the U.S. where it's a little bit cooler climate, so it doesn't age as fast. Mm. So that's why you'll see your Kavlon, which is no age statements, get excellent whiskeys, but um, probably less than 12 years old. But they're all quite bold in flavor. Right? They're they've had bold. a lot of flavor come into them, but they don't necessarily have some of that really soft, delicate, sophisticated yeah. notes that you can get only in an older whiskey. Yes. Mind you, there is a distillery in Scotland that has recently experimented. The experiment recently finished. I haven't heard the results yet, but they heated one of their warehouses for a period. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, took a small warehouse and heated it to see what would happen. But okay. uh, when I hear the results of that, I'll let you know. Please do. If I hear. If you hear. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to hear about the experiment, so. Well, it's all right. Well, once again, these, these are uh, whiskey tips from Whiskey Anonymous. This is uh, Frank and our special guest, absolutely not Matthew. Cheers. Cheers. Langevar. Langevar. Thank <laughs> you.